Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to batch export videos using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've just got these four sample projects. So these are just little video tutorials that I've been making. And normally what I do is I make lots of different video tutorials, maybe about five or ten tutorials. I do them all in one sort of go and then I'll export them all in one process rather than making a video, then exporting it, then uploading it to YouTube or Facebook. It's better to make five or six videos, especially if you're making tutorial type videos, depends on the type of your content. But I like to make lots of them and then leave my computer to export all of them because the exporting is really the thing that takes the longest time to export the content and then to upload it to YouTube. But it'd be nice if you could upload five or six videos all in one go to YouTube, right? So let's say take these one, two, three, four videos uh, or video edits and we'll open up Magic Smooth Edit Pro and we're going to batch process them. So the first thing you need to do is when you load up Magic Smooth Edit Pro, you're going to see this prompt here. So you can just create a blank project. So normally I just set it to NTSC HD video 1080i, 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. This option here, right? Because we need to create a blank project. So let's just click create project and that prompt will now disappear. That allows you to get to the file menu. So from the file menu, I'll go to batch conversion here. And we'll select that and then we'll click on multiple videos or multiple movies. We'll click here and then we'll go to my desktop. And on my desktop, we've got the four projects here. So let's open up the first folder and select the first MVP file, the Magix movie video file, right? We'll select that one and it will be added to the queue for batch processing. We'll go to add file and then we'll add the second project and then we'll go and repeat this for all four projects. Let's select this one and then finally we will select the last one. So we have all of them in here. Now this is where you need to be a bit careful. This is where sometimes I see people make mistakes is that the last one is highlighted in blue but you need to make sure you select all of them. So hold down the shift key and select the first one. These should all be blue, right? All of them should be a blue color. That way, when you batch process, you're going to batch process all four videos. As default, it highlights only the last one and you will only end up exporting the very last one. So let's hold down the shift key, make sure all of them are selected. Then we can select the file format. In this case, I'm just going to use Windows Media Video and we'll click on Advanced Settings. You can select MPEG-4 if you want. It's entirely your choice. I'm going to go to Windows Media and then click Advanced Settings. And it's going to say, where do you want to actually save this content? Do you want to specify a folder or specify a folder, a file name and a folder? So it's up to you. You can just specify a folder. If we click folder here and we go to, uh, as default, it's going to save it to my desktop. That's fact, actually fine. So we just leave it to save it to the desktop. And in, in advanced settings, especially for Windows Media, I'll go to advanced settings and I set the bit rate here to 90%. 90% this will just give much better video quality let's turn on anti interlace flickering and then we're pretty much done you can change the frame rate you can change the resolution if you need to but I think as default the standard settings here for Windows Media Video come out pretty well the quality is pretty good so you can switch to MPEG-4 if you want in the previous process let's click OK and then we can click start processing now the advantage of doing it this way is obviously um, you can export many videos at the same time. So it's doing one or four. But the other advantage is you now you can click this little button here and minimize and go and continue and do some other work. So you can see here it's exporting the first video, right? This is the first one. It's going to just continue in the background. You can continue doing your work, Photoshop, whatever else you're doing, web development. Um, and Magix will be doing this in the background. If you export them one at a time using this tool up here, this little arrow tool like I showed you in my previous tutorial, um, you can't minimize Magix, which is a bit frustrating. Um, there's just no way to minimize it. So this is the way um, I like to export. Even if I'm exporting a single video, I'll still use that batch process to export it so that I get to, to get to click this button, especially if the video is a long piece of content. If it's like an hour long, it's going to take maybe half an hour, 45 minutes to export. And you don't want this window stuck here. The only way you can minimize that is by pressing the Windows key and D on your keyboard, right? To minimize everything on your desktop. Um, but that's not the best way to do it. Just batch process one or many videos and just click this button and it will minimize. You can continue working in the background. So this first one's almost done. Now you can see 
the second one is now being exported and then it will just continue in that process so let's minimize this here we can see the first video completed and it's just going to list all four of them that you can just go and drag and drop them into the relevant directories showing that you've exported them so that's how i go about exporting um, or batch exporting video content multiple projects using magic's movie edit pro i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial